Good afternoon. I welcome you to Moment of Joy once again. And I will be speaking with you on positive energy. What is positive energy? I will be talking about your relationship and the people around you. I will be talking about the people you are relating with. In the recent times, there have been news of suicide attempt and people killing themselves, people committing suicide. But I want to tell you that when you associate yourself with great men, with positive people, with positive energy, you will never think of anything called suicide. I remember the story in the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse number 6 to 10. The Bible talked about Moses sending to go and spy the land. And when they got to the land, they came back and they give different reports. Some groups said, that place, we cannot conquer them. They were giant. We are just like grasshopper in, in, in the face of these people. And so we cannot do anything to conquer these people. But there was these two guys there called Joshua and Caleb. The Bible says Joshua and Caleb said, we can conquer them. They came with positive report. They gave Moses positive and encouraging report. And with this report, Moses gathered his people and they went against this land and they conquered and they passed through that land. And my message for you this very day is to surround yourself with people that are positive thinkers. Surround yourself with people with positive results, with positive energy. People that will be able to encourage you. People that will give you push. That will tell you it is doable. It is possible. You can try it. You will make it. Those are the words you need to listen to in these days. These are trying period. There are a lot of negative messages online, negative messages on radio, discouraging news, economic news that are not even encouraging, and you are almost committing suicide. You are thinking of killing yourself. Beloved, you don't have to. You need to surround yourself with people that will encourage you. The Bible says evil communication corrupts good manners. You need to develop relationship with men of great virtues. Who are the type of men? Number one, you need positive influencers in your life. If in the circle of your friend, there are no positive influencers, you need to change the circle of your friend. The Bible says in Proverbs 13, verse 20, that work with the wise and become wiser and associate with the fool and get in trouble. So when you work with the wise, you'll be wise. But when you work with the fool, you will end in trouble. Number two, great inspirators, men that can inspire you, people that their life, their attitude, the word of their, of their mouth, their engagement, we inspire you to do great things, to go for it. You need to join yourself with great inspirator. Number three, you need encouragers. They are, should be your number one fan. They are the source of encouragement. These are people you can mingle with number four, you need friendly and accommodating friends. Number five, optimists. Number six, you need men that are that have the attitude of ready to help, ready to help attitude. No people that will give you complain. No people that will not. It's not all about money. People that are say ready to say, I give you a push. I give you the word. I give you contact. I give you the connection. You need the type of friends. Friend with attitude of gratitude. People that know how to say thank you for every little thing. Those are positive energies that you need to surround yourself with. Beloved, you don't have to be depressed. Wake up from your bread. Wake up from your bed. Go for it. And the Lord we help you. God bless you. Follow us on our social media handles at Obeleke TV. Visit our website at www.obeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Obeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.